we just heard an ilapana of Raga Surya Kantam on the violin rendered by Vivi Subramanyam, one of our foremost musicians in Carnatic music. This is a raga which must have evoked some profound moods in anyone who listened to it. What mood did it evoke in you? Did it evoke just one or were there multiple moods that it evoked in you? And do you think a raga or any piece of music at all must necessarily evoke a mood in the listener? To many of us it is a given that music does evoke images, it evokes moods, any kind of music at all. And certainly classical music, the musical material is so used that it, is, it charges the atmosphere, it charges the musical space and the listener is able to, uh, to gain access to some coherent images, coherent emotions. We signed off our last session with a mention of the association of raga and mood. In fact, the very word raga, this, the, the word raga itself does not have a musical meaning. It, the meaning of the word raga, etymologically, I mean, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with music per se. Raga in Sanskrit and in some Indian languages like Marathi, it is associated with emotion, with passion. In fact, in modern Marathi, the word raga is used in the sense of anger. And in Sanskrit, definitely, the, the context in which raga is used, raga virahita, or we have the word vairagya, which means dispassionate. So the word raga really means passion. And the musical idea of raga is that it evokes some emotion, some mood. It colors the minds of the listener in, such a, in, a, in certain ways, which is why it is called raga. Now, I just said that we heard an alapana in raga Surya Kantam. Now, for a, for a complete novice to Carnatic music, and I expect there are a few such among our learners, there will be three questions. What is an alapana? And what is it for an alapana or anything at all to be in a raga? And of course, what is a raga? And this is what we are trying to understand. What is a raga, first of all? Because, as I said, raga is the fundamental, uh, it's, it's of fundamental importance as far as the content of Carnatic music goes. And along with Tala, the rhythmic uh, aspect, it forms a grid upon which Carnatic music is mounted. Now, raga at a basic level, this is also something we just saw last session, basically raga when you say raga, we mean there are certain swaras in it and certain swaras are not there in it. And we must always bear in mind that when we speak of swaras, it is just the skeleton of the raga. The raga is much, much more than the swaras that comprise it. Um, and that is also something we will see later on. For a moment, we revisit the 12 swarasthana schema, we have sa, re1, re2, g1, g2, ma1, ma2, pa, there is no variant, dha1, dha2, 
knee one, knee two. Now the raga that we just heard, Surya Kantam. The swaras in this are. Now let us go back to Mohanam that we saw in the last session. This whereas the Sari Gapa Dasa Sadapa Gari Here, suppose I just, I did change the Gandhara last time and I showed you how the mood completely changes. Sari Gapa Instead of that, it's just me. Sari Gapa Sari Gapa Gapa Dapa Dapa Daga Dapa Gari Gari Sari Dasa This is Shiva Ranjini. The mood is completely different only because the other variant of Ga is used. Sari Gapa Dasa Dapa Ga Gapa Dapa Gari Pagari Sa Prigari Sari Dapa Gaga This is Mohana Dapa Gapa Gari Gari Gasa Giri Sari Dapa Gasa Giga Shivarajana Now suppose I change the the re of Mohanam. It sounds different. Re and Dha, if it is changed. Gapadha Pagari Gapadha Padaga Gadha Padaga Pagari Gadi Sari Sadhu Now, suppose I take an entirely different set of notes from Mohana. Sari Gapadha Mohana. Now, Saga ma da ni sa sa ni da ma ga ba ni da ma da ni sa ni ga sa da ma da ni sa da ni da ma ga ba ni da ma ga ba da ga da ma da ga ma. Sagama Gasa Gamanida Madhanisa Sasadini Dada Mama Gada Bada Gama Gada Samajavara Gamana Sadhana 
बंधु कृत साम जगर गम गसानी सदंस साम जगर गमना साधु कृत साम जगर So all this demonstration is just to show you how what we speak of as ragas are at a very basic level made of swaras and how how many different combinations of swaras are possible and how the presence of one or another swara can change can determine the mood of that raga now as we saw there are ragas which have all the seven notes all the seven swaras there are ragas that have only five swaras like mohanam or hindolam which we saw last and then there are ragas which have six swaras ग प ग नि ध प द ग ग नि ध प ग प ग रे रे स नि ध नि स रे ग ग प ग नि ध नि प ग प ध नि रे स स नि ध प द ग प ध प ग नि गप गी सरी गप धनी सरी गप धनी सा सरी गप गरी सा सिक्स फॉर एस एंड देन यू हैव कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस यू कैन हैव फाइव स्वराज इन दी आरोह सेवन स्वराज इन दी आरोह seven swaras and yaroh five swaras and yaroh now all these determine the raga let us a raga admits of certain swaras certain swaras make up that raga and those swaras have to be used you cannot skip one or the other and only those swaras may be used and some swaras are allowed in the aroha sequences in certain ragas so for instance is a raga called dinahari sadi ga pad sa sani da pa ma gari ga da pa ma gari pa ma gari sani da sadi ga pa so here this aroha is sadi ga pad sa बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ रागास